was sharing with you this altered lamp. So, but this lamp and this lampshade is about 21 years old. I've taken it everywhere with me. Uh, we've been moving around so much and we've been traveling, but I've taken this everywhere with me. And I didn't really want to throw the lampshade away. Mm -hmm. So I thought I would alter it a little bit, make it look more shabby chic, and I started it, and it took a while. I'm gonna give you a closer look when I take the camera, and, um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna stop this now and show you all the photos on how I made it. I took photos um, step by step, with the exception of um, when I put the trim and the, the lace and this pearl. This is a mixed media sort of shabby chic lamp and I'm going to turn this on for you so you can see when it's turned on because you don't see the tissue paper right now that's um, on it. So we turn this on. So I've got some tissue paper there and some mixed media and you know this is the Tim Holtz clock die, the stars, the flourish, um, some flourish and some stars, and then, yeah, the moon's right there. It's really cute when it's on, as you can see. So it, this is kind of like a shabby chic uh, mixed media. I don't think if I make another lamp, shabby chic lamp, if I'm going to put uh, the uh, tissue paper there. That's how it looks like when it's lit. And I thought, this is for my studio anyway, so I thought it turned out really cute with um, the moon there and um, the stars. But let me turn off this now and I will show you a step by step of the photos when I was um, doing this mixed media and then I'm going to show you in full detail on what's on it. So this is how it looks like when it's not lit and I'm going to take you off the tripod now. So, As you can see there are shades of blue and shimmer. It's actually very shimmery, maybe the camera is not picking it up but if I go this angle you can see the shimmer on the moon and the stars. I'm going to move slowly so I don't make you guys sick. But I just cut out some of the Tim Holtz dies. I'm going to show you that in a second. And so this is like a mixture of pink and blue. And I put the trim over there on top. As you can see, it's, this lampshade is really old and it's actually cracking. But I think I just made it stable just by mod podging all of that stuff. And more Tim Holtz die there and the stars and the moon. So it's a mixture of pink and blue. And there's this elegant flourish there. That's also another Tim Holtz die. And the lace. That's the clock. This is the flat back pearl trim. And I was gonna use some flowers but make it look too girly and overdone so I decided not to put any flowers. I was like, I love this lace and I love the flat back um, pearl trim. This is what I use right here. And I just hot glued the flat back pearls. That was the last step out of all of this stuff. And for this, let me see if I can move it. There you go. This one, I didn't even notice that I didn't actually put the 12 o'clock on top, but it doesn't matter. Um, I was just really excited to do mixed media, so, but this one moves, as you can see. We put the silver brad that's from Stampin' Up, and I put the silver brad, and my daughter really loved it. I gessoed um, the chipboard uh, using white gesso and these are the dies that I use. I use this Tim Holtz what is this called? Moon and Stars die. 
Dubai and holds elegant flourishes. And the last thing is this um, Roman clock, weathered clock, Tim Holtz die. And then of course this is the um, lace that I use to trim the lamp. And of course this flat back pearl, which I really like. Um, the alcohol ink that I use, I uh, glimmer misted it with this tattered angel glimmer mist and this is pearl. I use glossy accents to adhere all of the die cuts. Use Mod Podge and then painted it, spray painted it, uh, mixing this um, pink acrylic paint and this blue acrylic paint. I mixed it with alcohol, here, so this is the pink one and this is the blue one. Okay, if you mix acrylic with alcohol and water, it dries really quickly. And then after I was done with that, I adhered, I gessoed the um, chipboard first for the die cuts. I gessoed all of them. And then I adhered it using the glossy accents. And then I attached this using the brad. And then used the spray paint to just mix the pink and the blue. And when it dried, I adhered the lace yesterday. I hot glued them inside, as you can see. And then the last step that I did was to adhere the flat back pearl. And that's how it looks like. It doesn't look bad, but uh, the next time I make this lamp or another lamp, then I probably would um, not use the book pages because it blocks all the, the nice die cut from Tim Holtz. You can even barely see the hot glue because I use very little hot glue, but it turned out really cute, I thought. And um, instead of throwing an old lamp away, give it some love. And then I wanted to share this. This is a sneak peek of an album that I'm creating right now. This is by Die Cuts with a View called Once Upon a Time. I'm still working on the album, but uh, I featured this on my Instagram account, but I thought I'd share a sneak peek of the album right here. The cover is in gold. I die cut the Tim Holtz clock with a chipboard, and then I used the Stampin' Up! gold paper. As you can see, it's very shiny. And then I use the Tim Holtz hanging sign again, and it's this is a Stampin' Up Spiral Flower die. I put flat back pearl right in the middle. I made that flower. This is from Prima. So I die cut the elegant flourishes again in gold. So you can see it's very shiny. And this is a Stampin' Up Elegant Butterfly punched in gold and for this one I embossed the butterflies using Stampin' Up's um, polka dot die and then I fussy cut this once upon a time cover and adhered it using glossy accents to match the gold that I have with a clock because this one is really glittery and in gold so I thought it's perfect to do the cover with that and those little flowers right there is another Stampin' Up! punch. This is a new punch from our Celebration uh, Mini. This is from uh, Prima Flower. This is from Wild Orchid Crafts and the leaves that you see over there from Wild Orchid Crafts. And this one again is the Stampin' Up! spiral flower die that I, that I made. I've been making a lot of flowers lately and I really love that dye. It's one of my favorite dye now. And I have some more Wild Orchid Crafts flowers there and I die cut the leaves. More Wild Orchid Crafts flowers there and this is a Prima flower. So, so you can see it's very pretty. So that's the cover of the album and I will be filming this when I am done to show you what I made on this album and just to show you right here because I'm going to use this trellis that I made for this album and I thought 
This is using the Stampin' Up! Chevron punch and I will be creating the trellis and I will be putting flowers and vines on that for this album. But I just wanted to show you guys that because um, our celebration is only valid until March 31st and the Chevron punch is very versatile. So if you haven't checked it out yet, go to my Stampin' Up! website and check out the Chevron Punch because you can make trellises like this, you can make just a chevron pattern and things like that. But um, this is like a sneak peek of the album that I'm making right now. And I guess the Chevron Punch. So this is my project share today, it's Altered Shabby Chic Mixed Media Lamp. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. and. I will see you on my next project. Bye for now.